Good day everyone, this is the unboxing video for the God of War Ragnarok Yotna edition which I just collected yesterday evening. I didn't do an unboxing video then because I was busy playing the game. I actually opened it earlier to get the codes, I'll explain that in a short while. So this is the back of the box and mine is half in Chinese because I live in Asia so that's where it's ordered from. So what we'll get is the 16 inch Mjolnir replica, the Knowledge Keeper sh Shrine, that's the replica over here, we'll take a look at it shortly, Knowledge Keeper Shrine where everything is inside and uh, two-in-one Venere twin carving. I'm not sure what that is but uh, I'm sure I'll come across it in the game. And then Brooks, Brock's die set. If you don't remember who Brock is, Brock is one of the um, smiths in the original God of War. Uh, the blue skin guy, there are actually two of them, the brothers. One is the pale skin, one is the blue skin. The shorter blue skin one is Brock. And that's his die set over here. Okay, and we also get the legendary drop near ring. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, here's a picture of the ring and a velvet pouch and I can't pronounce this yet Russell cloth map that's supposed to be the cloth map falcon bear and wolf pin set the seven in one or oh, sorry seven inch vinyl record music by bear McCreary okay I don't have a vinyl player but I mind and the steelbook display case Okay, note the dimension that um, no game this included, I'm not sure why. You know, it's all, uh, they have codes for the digital download, but if that's the case, then I don't understand why they're actually giving the steel case, maybe for something to show, but um, I'm definitely buying the discs later. Okay, and these are other things that you will get in the uh, Yotna edition. Okay, you get the full game. Okay, the avatar set, there are 10. I'll put that at the end of this video, towards the end. Dark Horse Digital Mini Art Book. Okay, I'll, um, I'll put some information on that because I already downloaded it. So I'll put some information on how big the file size was. And that comes together with the God of War Ragnarok digital soundtrack. So I've got a screenshot of that. Um, when I was downloading it so you know how big it is and the other thing that's not mentioned here is also a theme for your PS4 so I've got a screenshot of that as well again at the end and the Kratos Darkdale armor okay the Darkdale axe grip and the Darkdale blades handles and for Atreus you get the Darkdale attire cosmetic oh, sorry attire which is purely cosmetic and for an early bo purchase bonus, you get the Kratos Risen Snow Armor and Atreus Risen Snow Tunic, which are also cosmetic. Okay, now because I'm holding this with only one hand while doing everything else, so uh, I'll have to pause the video at certain points. So this is how the box looks standing up. Okay, this is the top and you've seen the back just now. And this is the side. Okay, so that's... The side is the same on both sides. The bottom is blank, it doesn't have the same logo, so I won't show that. Now, uh, one thing that, so we'll just go over here, yeah. Peace and calm. One thing that I would like to uh, point out is, um, when the gifts were being given out, they also were supposed to be given out with certain items, like a small God of War Ragnarok mug, and I think it was two keychains. You know, but what happened is when I went to the store, uh, the Gamers Hideout store uh, in Mid Valley, I was told that, you know, that it was out of stock, that the allocation for the um, the Yotna's collection item had already run out. So they only had a few more, which were for the collector's editions, which I don't think was right because, uh, first of all, they did label that it was uh, limited stock, but then no one co contacted me to collect it. And also... Um, I had gone there on my own. I called them actually to find out if they had, if the stock had arrived and they said yes. So when I went to where to collect it, the guy said that I was late. Had I been one of the first people collecting it, then I would have received it. But you know, in this case, 
no one contacted me. So I didn't want to make a big thing out of it. But uh, from what I found out from a friend whose sister used to work there, he said uh, sometimes, um, you know, this isn't a very nice thing to say, but sometimes the staff do take some things for themselves. Uh, they can if there's actually surplus or no one collects it. But in this case, it was supposed to be given to the people who had bought it. Okay, so enough of that. Now when you're opening it, you have to open it from the side. Okay, so this is at the side here and there's a flap and there's actually um, tape, the circular tape. So you got to be careful when you peel it back so you don't actually peel out some of the cardboard here. And when you open it, this is the uh, whole box is inside. So I got to be careful removing this. I'll need both hands because it's uh, actually quite... Uh, tight inside. Just give me a moment. So I managed to remove the whole thing out finally. Okay, it was inside here and I've taken it out. So now to actually see what's inside. Okay, I put the whole thing down flat. Okay, which will make it easier. So this is the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. Okay, everything is printed on except for these flaps. Okay, when you Okay, I want you to hear that sound. When you pull it out, there's actually a bit of friction, like you're opening an actual cabinet. Okay, the artwork is really good. It's just like in the games. Okay, this is the first one. And the second one. Uh, okay, it has that feeling that, that sort of like locks when you put it back in. Okay, this is something to do with the game which I saw yesterday, which I won't spoil for you. Okay, this one looks really nice. Again, messages from the game. And you can actually pull this open. Okay, I'm pulling it open. Okay, I'm looking at the back, there's nothing here. Okay, now what do we have inside? Okay, so inside this is actually Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. I'm just going to take it out. Okay, so I've taken it out. And this was the plastic wrapping. And here is Mjolnir. Okay, it's a bit difficult to take out one hand. Yeah, for that we'll just have a look at the artwork uh, looks really good putting a lot of work for this oh, nice okay i've taken it out and this is the other side of it okay really nice artwork And it's got a bit of weight to it when you actually hold it up. Okay, these are actual straps. I'm not sure if it's leather, but uh, looks really good. This is a picture view from the side. Uh, look at those creases. really nice and uh, it's heavy it's heavy it's got some weight it's it's not made out of metal it's uh, plastic looks like plastic yeah let me just try that yep plastic uh, this might be a bit hollow but uh, the handle is solid it's really solid okay just need to test this out a bit we're gonna test it out on my wolf here. The black wolf. Heel. Heel. Mm. Heel. Heel. Hey! Heel! Okay, he's afraid now. Good. Good doggy. Heel. Heel to the mite of Okay, that's enough. 
Okay, you love the smell of Mione. Eh? Smell of the plastic, so I had a bit of a tough time taking it away. Okay, so there's nothing bare inside. I mean, there was nothing inside, it was bare. Okay, as you can see, it only housed Mione. Okay, but where are the other items? Okay, you can see, you can listen to the sound. And you pull it out. Okay. It closes almost like there's a sort of magnet at the side that pulls it back in. See? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're using magnets here. Anyway, we're going to remove the top. Okay, so this is the top removed. It looks like a hat. Okay, it was actually fit like this. So I had to pull it out. Okay, here's the other stuff. Okay. Tops being placed here, nothing inside. Okay, and this is everything else. Okay, this looks like the die set. So I've opened up the die set. I mean the dice pouch. Okay. Okay, that's everything. So here I've got the usual six-sided dice. One, two, six, four. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. And uh, there's another one. Okay, two. Oh, this is this is nice. It's unique. Very nice. I can't remember the name of the shapes. If you're wondering what these dice I use for, okay, uh, just as just a note to everyone, one of these is not called a dice, it's called a die, D-I-E. Okay, when you have more than one, then it's called dice, D-I-C-E. So this would be useful for people who play board games. Okay, there are a lot of board games on Kickstarters, role-playing board games. Um, so yeah, this will be helpful for them. Okay, something like a collector's edition, which it is. Okay, and these are the one-ear twins. I'm not going to take them out from the wrapping, but uh, this is how they look like up close. Okay, I'm sure it's plastic, but it looks like a very nice wooden carving. The front of the first one. And oh, the design is good. Looks really good. Nice, nice paint job. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go to the case. Okay, so I had to remove the case. Uh, it's tightly fitted inside. Okay, so I have to do it just now. So this is the steel case. Okay. And this is the back. Okay. Looks nice. Alright, so we're going to open it. Oh, okay, I managed to open it one hand. Okay, so you can see it's meant for two discs. So I think this is something like The Last of Us 2 where you had an installation disc and a play disc. I'm not so sure. So, uh, so where the codes are stored, this is the code for the digital content. You can see you get the full game, the team, the avatar set, the mini art book and the soundtrack. Okay, and also some of the uh, cosmetic items. Okay, just gonna turn this over carefully. Okay, you can see that the codes are up there. I'm not gonna show it. But the codes do have an expiry date. It expires on the 8th of November next year. Okay, that's a Asian um, calendar format. So it's 8th of November. So this is how you redeem it. Okay, so that's one and this is the other digital content that you get when you pre-order 
so you get the armor for Kratos and also Atreus and these are purely cosmetic it doesn't give you any additional attributes and this is the standard guidelines that they include inside okay that's it for the steel case okay now there's also something else under here some more that you can open up uh, okay so inside here okay we'll start with this one first this is the simplest this is the pin set I'm not going to open this up, so you got a bear, a wolf, and uh, I forgot what it was, supposed to be a raven and an owl. Okay, this is the back of it. Yeah. Nice, this is the size of it. Standard finger, yeah. About, I think, two, one and a half inches, yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to of my hands for this. Okay, managed to get it out. So, this is where um, the ring is kept. The legendary Dropne ring. Okay, this is how the ring looks up close. I'm just going to put it over here. Move that a bit. And there we can see that. Close up. Yeah. Okay, not much markings in the center except for the borders and this nothing inside it's just uh, red lines with a v-shape here reminds me of wonder woman okay so now we're going to the clock map can't pronounce the name okay See if I can open these up with one hand. Can I? Oh, it's better if I use both hands. Yeah. Okay, so I've opened up the clock map and it is huge. Uh, this is the size of the box. You see, this is the top. And that's the bottom of the box here. Yeah. So it's like slightly uh, overlapping the side of the box. And you can see it's on the side it's wider okay so we don't understand any of this okay but I'm just gonna check out the artwork this looks really good here okay I'm sure this is part of the story very nice And the thing is, this is soft. It's uh, like one of those micro fiber cloths that you use to wipe your glasses. Yeah, same kind of material. And that's that. It's really good. Let's check the back. Nothing here. No, the back is empty. Let's see. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to show earlier. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to show earlier was at the side of this, the uh, cover when you open it up, at the side of this is where they keep the vinyl record. So the plastic is sticking out of it, so you pull it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, sliding down. This looks nice. Okay, these are all the warnings. Choking hazards. Let's open it up. So this is it without the plastic wrapping. The front. Okay, nice. And the back. Giantess of Ironwood. The Sun's Path. Music by Bear McCreary. And the... Santa Monica Studios and Sony logo here, yeah. PS logo. Okay, let's open it up. How does this open? Oh, okay, I gotta pull it out. Okay. Okay, so I've taken it out. 
that was what it was in inside that was this and inside this was this so nice emerald color recorded in stereo 45 rates per minute and nice okay let's check the other side uh, okay same thing on the other side okay so that's everything but what i'll do is i'll just arrange um everything for, for you to see just give me a minute okay so this is everything that we got from the yotna edition okay the box it came in the map Mjolne, the die set vinyl record the pins ring twins the figurines and the steel case okay so uh, right after this video i was actually hoping for a shorter video but it's gone up to about 20 minutes so um sorry about that it's difficult recording with one hand so right after this i'm just going to post uh, a few screenshots i'm going to paste a few screenshots on the size of the content that i was downloading and uh, what it actually um the name of the and the pictures the avatar okay so you can see all the 10 avatars okay thanks again if you like this video sorry it took so long but uh if you like this video please like and subscribe i would appreciate it very very much thanks